Because Krieging is essentially a form of directional weighting, this presentation will start with a description of inverse distance weighting. In this example of a grid that was interpolated using inverse distance weighting, the cell values represent a weighted average of the surrounding control point values. The weight of each control point upon the averaging varies inversely with its distance from the cell that's being estimated. As a consequence, control points that are closer to the estimated cell have a greater influence or weight upon its final value. Krieging adds two additional considerations when determining the weighting factor assigned to each control point. The first consideration is the direction of the control point relative to the cell that's being interpolated. If the data has a directional fabric, such as hydrothermal fluids migrating along fractures, Krieging will assign a higher weight to control points that lie along this trend. In addition, Krieging considers the variability of the data as a function of distance and direction. These graphs, termed observed variograms, depict the variability of the data versus the distance between control points as a function of direction. Notice that there are four variograms depicting the variability as a function of direction. The Krieging process fits curves or variograms to these distributions in order to determine the weighting factors when estimating cell values. As a consequence, directional trends within the data are enhanced. In this comparison of inverse distance weighting, or IDW, and Krieging, the Krieged surface contours exhibit a northwest-southeast trend. Notice how isolated lows and highs within the IDW surface are connected with adjacent features as ridges and troughs within the Krieged surface. This directional bias is based on two variograms which were used to determine the weighting factors. The first variogram shows the variability in a north-south direction, while the second variogram shows the variability in an east-west direction. The distance at which the variability becomes negligible, also called the range, is used to define the major and minor axes of an imaginary ellipse. This ellipse is what is used to assign weighting factors based on direction and distance. The easiest way to get started is to select the automatic option within the Krieging submenu. The automatic option will best fit eight different types of curves at 90 degree sampling intervals and then use the variogram with the best correlation to generate the model. If selected, the pre-model points for variograms option will pre-grid the data using IDW and then use these grid nodes to construct the variograms. This will create better variograms for smaller data sets with a downside of implicit smoothing. If the Edit Examine Variograms option is checked, an interactive variogram editor will be displayed. This editor can be used to adjust the variogram parameters before the grid model is Krieged. For example, watch what happens when the minor axis range is reduced. The grid exhibits a pronounced directionality. For more information about these parameters, click on the Help button at the base of the Variogram Editor dialog. If desired, the manual option provides a means to manually specify the parameters, thereby providing more control over the Krieging process. The solid modeling version of Rockworks Krieging is almost identical to the grid-based interpolation. Unlike true 3D Krieging, this method does not take inclination into account. Instead, the horizontally biased Krieging is targeted at applications in which the geology is roughly sub-horizontal, such as contaminants migrating within paleo channels.